All right, today's project is the transfer case fluid on this 2013 F30 X-Drive, obviously, if it has a transfer case. Now, I attempted to do this the other day, and I couldn't get any fluid out. So, I got a better idea. Let me show you the tools that I'm making first, and then we'll proceed with the project. Right, what you may not know, that on that car... BMW is nice enough to completely remove the drain plug from the uh, from the transfer case. Previous transfer cases, identical design, have a drain plug. These idiots removed it just to make life difficult for, well, guys like me. And you, if you're watching this. So, there's a fill plug that um, is kind of high up. And what I want to do is... Because I'm going to be working underneath there, I want to hook this into the that um, that fill plug and let it reach down to the bottom, and then I could pull on this uh, syringe and suck out all the fluid. Trying to just stabilize a hose and and get it as far down as possible is uh, not so easy. So this is actually just a piece of brake line. Um, this is just a piece of brake line that I bought at the auto store. Use the pipe cutter, use my bender, which is over here somewhere. Oh, here's, there's my bender, which you use to bend line. And then uh, just a pipe cutter. And uh, that right there, in theory, will let me hook that in there, get down to where the fluid is, and pull it out. We'll see. You need transfer case fluid, you know. This stuff right here meets uh, Ford, Chrysler, GM, all that stuff. Jeep should be fine for the BMW. What could go wrong? Okay, now before all you psychopaths go leaving mean comments and everything, I'm kidding. Here's what we're using. It's $35 a quart from Amazon. It is the right fluid. And uh, it's way cheaper than what BMW gets, which is like $60 to $70 a quart. Okay, we're underneath the car, and before we can get to the plug to drain and fill, we have to remove this uh, transmission brace. It's got a few 13 millimeter bolts, uh, and then on the other side, you got to pull down that plastic thing. There's a couple 8 millimeter screws that hold that shield, that black shield in place. No problem there. It's actually real easy. Now, you might want to put a, a jack underneath the transmission there to keep it from sagging too much, which, you know, I'm going to do, so you'll see that in my video. We also need to separate this, um, see if I can get it in the video, where is it? Right here, this, uh, this is on the exhaust pipe. We're going we're gonna to loosen this right here, and uh, we'll just use a screwdriver and and pry it off the shaft. This uh, has a shaft right here that's welded to the exhaust. Don't break that. You need it. But this comes off. These are, uh, um, you know, those kinds of bolts right there. I forget what you call those. T-heads or something like that. Reverse T's. Whatever they are. You'll figure that out. Anyway, uh, alright. So I'm going to start taking stuff off. Oh yeah, you got to take a couple of those screws that hold that shield in place and then you just bend the shield out of the way this part's really really easy don't 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 worry about this this is the easy part right here yeah we're good rolling yep all right so we got our uh, jack there got these 13 millimeters I already took this exhaust uh, stringer off this exhaust hanger and so let me just work on that a little bit Now on this side, I gotta pull this guy down. Can you, can you see the different? Uh, those are those those T's type screws there. Can you see up in there? Oh, uh, there's the. Uh, yep, focused on that Torx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like reverse. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. So once you take the 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 bolts out of this, there's a a bolt that goes through this uh, support beam over to this hanger. It passes through the transfer case. This is the rubber bushing that holds it and keeps the anti-vibration and all. So this is basically your mount. 
this is a support brace. This is your mount. Uh, I think it's like a 18 on one side and a 16 on the other. You'll loosen it up and then tap it through. It'll come out past the exhaust, and uh, that'll be nice and easy. So you'll just pull it out there. And if you need to jack the, the transfer case up just a tiny bit or whatever to, to get the, the bolt free, that's fine. That's what you'll do. All right, we're good. We're done with that. Okay, so we got that uh, support brace out. It's really easy to get out. And uh, here's what we're looking at. This is the golden item right here. See that uh, that that plug right there? Let me zoom out so you can get an approximate feel of where that is. Okay, there's the exhaust pipe. There's the jack holding up the transfer case. If you lower that, it's not going to damage it. It just obviously you couldn't drive the thing with that just banging around, but you're okay. There's the transmission uh, fluid pan. All right, so we're going to empty that. I mean, duh, we're going to undo that, and let's find out the right tool for that first. So here's the uh, the tool you need. It's an H14 is the size. And I got like a million of these different uh, tools, and all of them are for uh, drain plug, various drain plug types and so forth. It's a crime that there requires this many variations on a theme. But anyway... We're going to undo that and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the real problem with doing this transfer case. One is the uh, the drain fill hole is to the forward side of the of the transfer case. And there's a big gear inside there which prevents you from just sticking a, a, a suction hose in there and getting the fluid. So what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to lower this corner right here so that gravity does all the work for us. We want the fluid coming to this corner of that transfer case. So that's why we have four jacks. Now if you have a lift, your life is simpler than mine in this case, but hey, this is what I have to work with. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but we got this wheel on the ground, that wheel's off the ground. We got the uh, angle we're looking for. Let's go underneath and see what we can see. Alright, so remember this tool, you can't see where I'm sticking it in the hole, but I'm sticking it in the hole. And then I'm angling it down, just like they do at the dentist office. And look at this, I'm getting fluid! Yeah! <coughs> look at how nasty that lifetime fluid is! Not that it being dark is completely indicative of fluid just failure, but this vehicle has 90,000 miles on it, and I think BMW is full of shit. I think the change interval should be, you know, 50,000 miles. Of course, they don't want to pay for it, so they just change the specs and leave it up to the consumer to uh, determine if they're going to take good care of their vehicle. Get in there. Yeah, this is working great. Okay, so we leveled the vehicle using the jacks. We got it level there. And... The level is gone that was right there. And we got leveled it there. So now we're gonna fill the thing and uh, see how much it takes. All right, wrap it all in. Let's see what we get. All right, here's my recap on the whole thing. So you now this Ravenol container had the spout. Well, that didn't really work. There wasn't enough room. So I transferred the remaining uh, content into this uh, old school quart bottle and then uh, used one of these old school um, pumps. It costs a few dollars. That allowed me to pump the rest of the fluid in, of which it was about three quarters of a quart total. Now normally I like to change dirty oil and then drive it and then immediately change it again. I just didn't have time to do that today. Um, it drove fine. Just a quick follow-up. First, as you saw, it was very dirty. And uh, the other thing is, there's a lot of people who talk about having to reset some setting on the BMW computer 
to force it to uh, relearn the settings for the transfer clutch. I'm convinced that only applies to a situation where you either put in a new transfer clutch, a uh, transfer case clutch, or a new transfer case. I don't see how it applies for a maintenance item like this. So, good luck.